Hey guys, welcome to the BSL Season 13 Hasu League Grand Finals. Bottom left hand corner, we have Thebus. Starting as the Yellow Terran. Upper right hand corner, we have Masuchi starting as the Teal Green Zerg. Are we starting off on Vertebrae? This looks like Vertebrae. We're starting off on Vertebrae, which again, I believe favors Thebus style of play. Before I get too far into this, I do want to say that there have been a number of contributions to the BSL effort. And I would appreciate if all of you were one of them. If everybody gives, you know, just a little bit of money, we can keep this thing self-sustaining. Towards that effort, there's the BSL Patreon, which you can check out. They have a variety of rewards, including getting the replay packs, if you're into that sort of thing. There is, you can also subscribe to the BSL Twitch channel, and if you're like a big sponsor and want to do like big official sponsorship, you can email Zero. Check, I believe, on the Brood War subreddit. You can be there. I appreciate everybody who has followed me all the way through this season of Hasu League. I'll see if I can sneak in on some Chobo League after this. Currently, Revolution Veer is covering uh, that. Obviously, everything, anything can happen in Chobo League. One of the reasons I really enjoy it. Uh, but thus far, he's the one who's been doing the majority of the coverage for that league. Actually, the one I did not get to cover was uh, Tarpman, a good friend of mine. Masuchi, in the meantime, looks like he's opening up with an 11 hatchery, upper right-hand corner. But yes, wanted to thank everybody for your continued support. Really appreciate it. Especially in the middle of, like, continued... Uh, I don't know, continued COVID frustrations and whatnot. It's been, I don't know, it's been positive. This has been a big positive thing. Appreciate all y'all. That's all I'm trying to say. Anyway, Thebus going for a front door seal potentially. Masuchi mostly facing Protoss on his way through. Spawning pool being planted. It looks like he's going to go ahead and grab the gas around 212. A little bit, a little bit slow, but suggests the Mutalisk opener. Thebus now scooting up. Now, here's the thing. Thebus, thus far, looks like that drone is going to be able to go ahead and sneak through and get the scouting information. It's going to see a lack of gas. And actually, the, there hasn't been a single... With the Marine, with the barracks produced at position, there hasn't been a single Marine being produced as well. So I think Thebus, recognizing Masuchi, tends to go for more passive play styles at the beginning. Drone versus SCV. SCV ends up winning with just a sliver of health left. Masuchi... Actually, a little bit concerned because I do the Marines pop out. I think the Marines. No, okay, they do pop out bottom left when it's sealed across that edge. Spawning pool is up. Only two Zerglings being produced to potentially swat down that SCV. A gas now being grabbed. Now my question is: is for Thebus going into the finals, going in against Masuchi? What is his game plan overall? He is my favorite to win this. I'm going to admit. One because Masuchi. Played mostly Protoss walking his way up through the series. Secondarily, Phoebus faced a lot of Zerg coming this direction. Lair being morphed at the natural expansion. Phoebus has eyes on it. But also, Phoebus has shown an incredible degree of aggression. It just seems, I don't know, just seems to be next level with his ability to attack absolutely everywhere, find the timings to pull the trigger, and still somehow macro in the midst of all of it. I think he's just playing very, very well, and I would not be shocked to see him up in either Gosu or maybe even, I, I don't know if Pro League might be a little bit early, but certainly I would not be shocked to see him in Gosu League next season. SCV Scout sneaking around. Definitely looking at higher level play here, is I guess what I'm trying to say. Command Center warping in. Warping in. Command Center up and producing. Additional Marines being produced. Looks like we do have a second Barracks. So it's going to be two Barracks Academy then Engineering Bay from Masuchi. Now thus far, against all of his Zerg opponents, he's kind of gone for that earlier factory style, second extractor being grabbed. I am also wondering if Masuchi's kind of kept an eye on that. SCV dies, but I believe Thebus got a look at this third hatchery being planted, so we're seeing some sort of three hatch build. Definitely three hatch Mutalisk is what's being shown thus far. I don't like that against Thebus in particular, knowing how aggressive he oftentimes gets. Stimpak being upgraded. No medics as of yet. 
No engineering bay as of yet. He's dropping that commsat station. Now, Masucci actually supply blocking himself here for a second. Phoebus overhead. Uh, here's the thing: he can kind of play it either direction. Is my my problem is is I feel like Phoebus could get aggressive and attack his opponent, which he may, might opt to. But looks like he is going to go for it. Moving out with the fi that was actually the next thing I wanted to mention is going up against three hatch play in the previous era. What you could do is just march out and force some Sutton colonies on the front. The other thing with three hatch play, particularly three hatch muta, is you seed a lot of ground potentially to medic marines to kind of get that threat out to your natural expansion. So we'll see if Masuchi preemptively looks like he's trying to use these zerglings to distract and keep this army back. Firebat actually holding the gap just in case there was a counterattack behind this. Ooh, Marine getting a little bit too far forward. Nice little micro there by Masuchi trying to abuse that ridge. Comsat by Thebus at the natural expansion. The zerglings mostly getting cleaned up. The medic marines regathering. They're hunting potentially for a third base. They're moving to the bottom right. So they scanned this. The mutalisks are starting to produ uh, be produced. The turrets. Actually, if he boogies, he might be able to catch that turret. Looks like he is going to go ahead and back out, though. He's got seven mutalisks. And Thebus kind of... Yeah, looking for a third that does not exist. So maybe he did not see this third hatchery in base. Level 1 weapons upgrading now for Masuchi. And I'm wondering if Masuchi is just going to try to... So he's hunting for these medic marines now. And keep in mind, this isn't... Yeah, this is a little bit of a smaller attack force. The eight mutalisks trying to poke on this corner. Able to pick off a medic. Nice bit of micro right there. And the Zergling sweeping in. One Mutalus down, two Mutalus down. Nice bit of micro there by Phoebus to turn what was looking like a bad situation into at least picking off some Mutalus to make the defense at home a little bit easier. Two turrets defending. It looks like a third turret being planted. Three o'clock base has been grabbed. And thus far, Masuchi actually looking to be in a comfortable position. He's a little bit low on drones. I think he's just going to go for an all-in bust here with Mutalisks and Zerglings. Phoebus dropping a commsat, still sees that natural expansion, sees no creep colony, so may not suspect this. Also sees a Hydralisk then. But, but Phoebus, keeping the worker count high, trying to get that fourth barracks up. A little bit delayed because of the Mutalisk harass. Third gas being grabbed rapidly by Masuchi. But Masuchi starting to move out with a decent sized force. Nice micro on the corner by Masuchi. Pick off a handful of Marines and harass that. Using the high ground, unfortunately, Amutal is getting picked off. And he's done a great job actually picking off these medics while they've been on a side position. So nice, nice micro from there. Oof. And as I say that, walks the Mutalisks in, loses two of them immediately. Zerglings now sweeping in. The Mutalisks focus on the Firebat. Yeah, that army gets cleaned up. So now all of a sudden, Masuchi in a commanding position. Phoebus misread the opener, I believe. He's opened up his front door trying to get a bunker down. Phoebus has all sorts of workers, but he's going to be... Behind as far as... He's not in a position really to be aggressive. He's got four barracks now in the background. He has a siege tank up. But the siege tank is going to be very exposed with the mutalisks that are currently... I mean, even with the four mutalisks that are out in the air. Lurker is now being morphed. Out on the front. Hive tech being pushed towards. So Masuchi actually in a pretty decent position. So despite 53 workers on Thebus' side... Keep in mind that's 53 workers across two bases. Instead of three. If he can get a third base and get an SCV transfer, that'll turn into a superior situation. Thebus trying to throw out some commsats to find. He realizes, okay, there's got to be another base out there. He's looking for it. The Mutalist being picked off. Thebus walking forward now with another Marine Force. But running headlong into some lurkers. And the Marines, wow, yeah, Thebus not playing like his usual self. Units getting obliterated right there. And he's just lost, what is that, three groupings of Medic Marines now. 
as they moved out, once again being forced back into his natural expansion. Lurker's moving up. Diva should be able to push this back without too much trouble. SCV, tr yeah, still trying to find additional bases. This might be just an unfamiliarity with the map as well. It's going to be a while before Science Fuzzle's out as well to kind of sneak this out. Third gas has been grabbed. Now Phoebus finds that third base. Hive Tech is already here, though. And the Defiler Mound's already being produced. So now Phoebus is in a bit of trouble. Ooh, Mutilus is getting caught off guard once again. Phoebus is in a bit of trouble. Where if he does not push out, establish third, get something accomplished before Defilers and Lurkers are right on his doorstep, that's a very difficult to defend natural expansion. Moving out once again, Phoebus's solution to many of these problems is get aggressive. Some Lurkers are trailing across that ramp, and even with the Science Vessel right there, that would be hard to deal with. The Siege Tanks moving forward with this Medic Marine Force to go ahead and clear out the Lurkers to the south. The Lurkers going to go ahead and exit. Oh, try to take the high ground. Scourge right there as well. The Marines are out of position. Science Vessel stays alive. So nice micro. But Phoebus all of a sudden, with a breakthrough attack force, looking to engage at the 3 o'clock location. And I'm not seeing a counterattack force from Phoebus, or sorry, from Masuchi, to engage and take this out. Lurker's peeling in there. Is there a defiler, though? I don't see any defiler on location. This is not a ramped map, so they don't have to walk up the ramp. Science Vessel takes one shot. Second Scourge gets hit. And Phoebus, now all of a sudden, with a lot of pressure at the 3 o'clock, Lurker's getting wiped out at distance on location. A Desperation Creep Colony trying to be planted. There are Defilers to the north here. So Masuchi looks like he is going to be able to potentially defend this if he can just drop a swarm. But having trouble grouping up his attack force. Lurker's now moving in. But several of the drones being picked off before they're able to get there. Defense Matrix on that forward siege tank to buy some time to let the Medic Marines do their work. Another Dark Swarm dropped. But it looks like this 3 o'clock base is going to be wiped out, as is that critical third gas. So Phoebus able to draw blood here. Some lurkers able to pick away that siege tank, continuing to apply the pressure. Masuchi trying to take that 12 o'clock base away from this army. He's got components to work with. There's a science vessel in the air still. He's not out of this game yet, but potentially... In a scary situation, that Scourge being picked off. One of the Scourge lands on that Science Vessel, pressing back. So Phoebus holding that 3 o'clock with the Medic Marine Force, continuing to pressure near the front. And in the midst of this, is he going to float out? Yeah, floating out a Command Center to the 6 o'clock base to grab his third. Big supply lead for Thebus all of a sudden. Masuchi distracted a bit, not moving in. Is able to draw those Marines into that Lurker line while Phoebus is distracted. Help clear that out a little bit. But Phoebus still with a su huge supply lead. Level 2 weapons, level 1 armor. So an upgrade lead as well. And right now, Masuchi... Maybe if he had gotten some Lurkers and been a little bit aggressive, kind of tried to pull a Phoebus against him. Might have been able to swing this, but currently he's been denied a third gas for a considerable amount of time. Phoebus is continuing to roll his economy. He's got a third base down. He's not yet mining out of it. And Phoebus is at a forward position with Science Vessel's Lurkers threatening the front. And is doing a great job of getting on top of these Defilers and irradiating them. Because Masuchi's one opportunity might have been able to sneak a Defiler through with some Lurkers and pressure Phoebus's front. But as long as these Science Vessels keep pushing up, picking off those Defilers before they're able to move forward, he's going to close this match out. More Science Vessels moving forward. Medic Marines Firebats grouped up. Six o'clock base now saturated. And Phoebus, with a stronger economy, stronger tech, he's going to end up losing the Scourge 
bugging out. Looked like they had an opportunity to kill a science vessel, but not quite able to. And a fire bat and a marine sneaking through. It looks like they might be able to find... Yeah, this attack force marching to the 12 o'clock base. So this is going to get wiped out, and that might be GG from Masuchi. Once again, losing his third gas. And that 3 o'clock base, he's trying to retake, but has not been established. Yeah, these defilers have just been continuously picked off. So moving in, Dark Swarm is dropped to go ahead and try to retake this. While that's out of position, Thebus doing that that two-pronged, okay, you're distracted over there. I'm going to take some territory over here sort of tactic. He's going to end up sacrificing everything to the north. Ends up losing a science vessel on the front. Is trying to press across some of these mid-lines and box Masuchi in. Is doing a good job of doing so. This is Masuchi's second problem. Plague dropped. Fortunately, I don't think that plague is going to be enough. Three clock base once again being harassed. Yeah, might get taken out. Some fire bats wandering a little bit too far forward. Some lurkers, etc. Killed to the north. That fire bat happy to send her to those swarms in exchange with the medics and zerglings. Three clock base has been wiped out. Science vessels taken out overhead, so that's at least small graces there from Masuchi. But right now, Phoebus in a strong position, really controlling this match. Knocking on the natural expansion. He's able to drop a Dark Swarm, the Fire Bat, out of position. Come on, Fire Bat, what do you get paid for? I guess you don't get paid. You're technically a slave in a suit, so not, never mind that. But Phoebus pressuring that natural expansion. Looks like that attack force is going to be cleaned up. But even with all of this happening, Masuchi is down to 37 supply. Where Thebus is sitting at 144. And even that, that was everything he had just to push his opponent out of that base. Some medic marines still holding here. And this is definitely turning a, an Ultralis cavern is up. I can't imagine an Ultralis would even get fielded, let alone with upgrades. Thebus currently with three times the supply. His natural expansion is mined out. His main is mined out, so he does need to think about expanding. A Zergling has found that 6 o'clock base mining. Phoebus actually way too many workers for just a single base uh, mining. Needs to establish some additional expansions. It looks like he might double expand behind this. A sneaky expansion being grabbed from Masuchi. Does Thebus spot it? Doesn't look like it. Masuchi now pushing this army back. To the 12 o'clock. Phoebus trying to take the high ground. Some scourge in position to potentially deal with additional science vessels. The science vessel count is low. That's at least one advantage. Phoebus is going to go ahead and try to take that inside six location. The only thing keeping... Here's the other thing. Phoebus still has a sizable bank to work with in the midst of this. You can kind of slow play the rest of this. Fire bats sneaking in. Killing a lot of that. What are the upgrades as well? Level two, well, that's decent. Level 2 Carapace. No level spine attacks, though. That army gets cleaned up, but he's still been locked to two bases. Upper left-hand base starting to create drones. Phoebus, to lock this out, just needs to go ahead and, yeah, establish another base or two and can keep up the pressure and get his science vessel count up. The science vessel count in particular looks like he is going to go ahead and grab another starport. You can see he's just queued up a bunch of science vessels. I think he realizes it. Yeah, again, just holding that 3 o'clock. And threatening it. Single circling somehow snuck through in the midst of this. The Defiler dropping once again. And Thebus can just, yeah, do this all day. Just deny that 3 o'clock, starve his opponent out. Maybe if there is a Nidus Canal here in the upper left. Masuchi finally getting a third gas at the 19 minute mark. Not the place you want to be. Some SCV hanging out in the bottom right hand corner. Being lazy like they can be. Not yet grabbing that expansion. But Masuchi happy to just play this. Uh, he's he's uh, just been limping with the minerals. Thebus is happy to just keep playing this dodgeball match. I think. Ultra somehow got that carapace upgrade. It's getting rapidly whittled down. Another swarm dropped. So Thebus getting a little bit sloppy, honestly. Both players not playing... Maybe it's nerves. Not playing their usual selves. Some distance mining happening at the 9 o'clock. Looks like this single marine is going to find everything here in the upper left. 
but still a big supply lead. Although, let's try to do some math here. 80 supply, 83 supply of that. So it's it's not as big a supply lead as you might suspect. It's still sizable, but it's not in pure army because of an oversaturation of SCVs. So Masuchi diving into the bottom right. Getting surrounded by fire bats. It looks like between everything, he actually might be able to... Yeah, no, just kind of GG right there, though. Just too far behind. I don't blame him from GGing uh, right at that stage. So we're going to move... So game one goes to Thebus. We'll move on to game two momentarily. Thanks for listening.